Butler wanted to fight me. So, cause, cause to be honest, Butler, listen, I, I like you. I mean, we're not friends or anything, but there's a respect there. Right? Yeah, you're, you're not on the greatest track, right? So I was not going to challenge a wounded animal. But yeah, you wanted this fight and then, yeah, okay, let's go. Let me cut you there. Listen, I was, uh, I don't know how this fight happened, but it was not me challenging you. I'm, I'm, I'm like any fighter. If you tell me you want to fight Elson, I'm like, yeah, bring him. But a wounded lion is still a lion, bro. It doesn't matter, you know, because at the end, I want to fight you, you know? So, you know, I'm not looking for a dress, you know, I'm, I'm just looking for fights. As a fighter, you always want to have success. Rough patch does not make you happy as a fighter because you want to have success in what you're doing. So there's, there's clearly some things that I see that the brother's not seeing. That's for him to deal with. He needs to figure that out. You know, if you see if you see the fights that I've been fighting, let's talk honestly. You know, I've been dominating all these fights. So it's not like I was getting beat up and getting beat up and getting beat up. I was dominating Rico. I was dominating him again. I was dominating these other guys. You know, okay, so I lost once or twice. Ah, bro, I don't give a shit about that. It comes with age. And it also comes down with falling, falling from your stature, right? So I've had my fall down, grace, and that humbles you. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, you know, they, you, you shouldn't uh, mix things up, you know, because uh, at the end, uh, we are uh, killers, you know? This is, uh, this is yeah. uh, at the end of the road, if you stand, if we are there Saturday, October 8th, and he punch you in the face, or I punch him in the face, uh, <laughs> Listen, there'll be, there'll be some tension. There'll be some adrenaline boiling, right? Because you know you're gonna, you, you know there's gonna be some, yeah, collision, collision four, but uh, yeah, I did my homework. I know what I'm bringing okay. to the table. There is no fighter that likes to be pressured. No one, no one. I will touch him once. <laughs> Just need one. Let me, you know, let me give hell. If it's necessary, let's go through hell. Let's you give them some electricity go. there, you know, yeah, man. Just be ready, Alistair, be ready. You know, I'm ready, so be ready. You know, Bada is, uh, is a warrior, he's a, he's a legend, but we're going to see the end of Bada Hari. That's what we're going to see next week. Sorry, Bada, but that's how it's going to be. It's going to be your, the final show, Bada, and uh, it's going to be me putting that last nail in the coffin for you. I never thought that, that I'll, be, I'll be fighting him again, but uh, you see Destiny got a strange way of uh, connecting us again. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to meet him again. It's been a hell of a ride all these years. So uh, yeah, we fought each other two rounds in total. So uh, it's, it's, it, it's not a lot. Uh, one time uh, he knocked me out and the second time I knocked him out. He's a formidable opponent and he's standing in my way to, uh, to my next victory. So he's gonna have to leave, lose, get flattened, but um, yeah, of course, you know, Bada has his stripes, he's got his credentials, but um, also lately it's not uh, faring too well. But you know, that's his thing, that's his uh, issues to resolve. I know that I've worked very hard on, on my game, on my shape, on myself. We got all the bases covered and everything is set for the, for the, for the victory. I just have to be sharp, fit, and don't, uh, don't let him uh, surprise me. I think a lot of people want to see it because it got, it got a great story. Well, I just want to win this fight, so simple as it. It's just me versus him and the uh, third time. And I just want to end, uh, end this fight with a win. Fighting bigger gloves um, comes natural now, obviously. 
You know, of course, in, in MMA and UFC, we, we have our stand-up fights, we have our stand-up sparring. So I, I do have to say it has been a switch, but I feel very confident, very good. I would say it's mental, physical, but it's everything. It's the whole, you know, the support, the people, the game plan, uh, in my mind, in my head, the things that I've been doing. The whole package gives me a lot of confidence, gives me a lot of power. I'm looking forward most to raising my hands after the fight. It's going to be a good fight, it's going to be a hard fight. I'm in the best shape of my life, 42 years of age, and uh, we're ready to whoop some. I think it's going to be a hard fight. I think he's, he's, he's a smart guy. Uh, he knows uh, what I'm capable of. For me, I'll be there in my best shape. I hope he, he, he comes in his best shape too. And uh, yeah, let's give the fans what they want and uh, just make it an unforgettable night uh, for me and for Glory and uh, for everybody who's attending. So uh, let the date come. Your main event of the evening, brought to you by Jack's Casino and Sports, Badahari versus Alistair Overeem. This is your main event of the evening. A rubber match in a classic series that began 14 years ago between two of the most powerful punchers in the world. The first two chapters ended with each landing first round knockouts. Who will write the storybook ending to this historic trilogy? Will it be the baddest? Or the ring! For the thousands in attendance here in Arnhem, to glory kickboxing fans watching around the world, it's time for glory! Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he is a two-time world heavyweight champion and the 2010 K1 Grand Prix champion. As a kickboxer, his record, 10 wins with four losses, seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, four inches tall, 1.93 meters, he weighed in at 248.7 pounds, 112.8 kilograms. Fighting out of the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, here is Alistair, the Demolition Man of the ring. Here now is his opponent, fighting out of the white corner, a two-time world heavyweight champion and two-time K-1 Grand Prix finalist. His professional record, 106 wins with just 16 losses, 92 career knockouts. At six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 252.2 pounds, 114.4 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Morocco, he is the baddest. Introducing... The referee in charge of your main event, Yusuf Akhne. Rico Bearhoof and Glory's 
Heavyweight champion in attendance looking on. Ladies and gentlemen, for your safety and the safety of those around you, please take your seats. The fight will begin when you take your seats. For your safety and the safety of those around you, Five please you take your rules. seats. I want to clear and a fair fight. Obey the commands and all that, but protect yourself in all time, okay? Touch gloves, if you want. Take a step back. It's a fight 13 years in the making. The trilogy, the final round, happens here tonight. Glory, Collision 4, Badr Hari versus Alistair Overeem. Here we go. I predict this first round being very wild. As Overeem starts opening up. Big right hand, and that sent Overeem back. Badr Hari's explosive counter punches. What we got to watch out for. Overeem trying to switch stances, big clubbing shots. But he seems open for counter punches, Joe. Yeah, I mean, Overeem's trying to switch his stance, come inside and throw the overhand. Let's see what Botter has here. It's been over a decade since Overeem's been in a professional kickboxing match. Ooh. Many of these gentlemen fight. You just hold your breath at every exchange. Break, 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 break. Overeem promised break. to put the final nail in break. Botter's coffin tonight. Over in very confident fight week. Got off balance a little bit. Potter punishes him. Over just doesn't look comfortable, does he? I think he's still figuring himself out, but Potter's just trying to catch him coming in. Maybe a nice uppercut for Potter could be an option. Yeah, he tried it there. But those unorthodox shots from Overeem are pretty tough because he's putting his head down and throwing over. I haven't seen a kick yet from Alistair. That's I think one low kick so far. But I think Botter's kicking game could be good for him too. One of the best left kicks as a heavyweight. You wonder how Overeem will react to the first big heavy punch that Botter lands. Yeah. Botter's good with his jab and his combinations. Also has really good left hooks to the body. Oh, big low kick. Bottom put all of himself into that one. But Wolverine's high guard shell is blocking a lot of those punches. There's that inside fighting for Wolverine. He's got good knees in there. Mixes them with his punches. Watch out for the knee. Yeah. Fight! Good straight punches from Botter. Another low kick. Yep, good timing from Botter, trying to catch him coming in. But a little unorthodox style here from Overeem, trying to bring a little of that MMA style in. Overeem just trying to muscle him off, it seems. High guard pressure, make him uncomfortable, force him to use some energy, but Botter's trying to catch him, he's getting close. But calm and composed is Overeem. For the first time in their three fights, we got to the end of a round. Yep. Bader Hari, obviously a former K1 heavyweight champion. It's Showtime heavyweight champion. And right now, he's more known for being a dad. Has five kids. Alistair Overeem, one of the most decorated combat sports legends. MMA world titles, kickboxing world titles, all at the same time. Signature strike, those knees on the inside. That's how we got it done into their first fight. They're trying to be a little bit more unorthodox here. Fight. 
Round two, remember, scheduled for three. All five judges scoring that for Botter. Overeem trying to find his way in with that head down, Joe, so dangerous. Yeah, he's dipping his head down to, to give the overhand. But there's that body ripping from Botter. Uh, oh, low kick. Right below the belt. He'll get a couple minutes if he needs it. Verbal warning to Alistair. There's a low kick from Alistair. Boy, it almost knocked Botter down. Yeah, those big legs hitting you. That hurt over him. Over him just can't seem to figure Potter out. But you can see, oh, big punches in the inside. I was gonna say, I think Potter respects over him's power. He's not going wild when he starts throwing. He picks his shots, goes back to a high guard. He knows that over him wants to counter punch. there from Overeem. And still in that unorthodox style with his head down, coming forward. It just looks clumsy, doesn't it? And I think it's that inside pressure, though. I mean, you can't just stand there with Botter. We've seen Botter in the past winning fights, Joe, even dominating fights, and then one shot out of nowhere ends the fight. Yeah, but this is what I say. After he's hitting now, you see him resetting and getting his defense back up. He'll hit, come back to good guard composure. He's not swinging and keeping his hands out. Hit right back to upstairs, high guard. Right hand from Overeem just misses. Potter dominating this fight statistically. Break, step back, step back. This is a 42-year-old Alistair Overeem who's basically brand new to kickboxing again. But he knows he has the power if he can land that one big heavy punch. That, he uppercut, does. that uppercut sent Botter's glove to the ground. The referee does not call it a knockdown. Biggest punch of the fight. Let's see what Overeem does here. Does Botter open up now? You see Overeem ready for a big clubbing punch. No, that may very well have been a knockdown. Yeah, could have stole the round too because of that one big shot. He wasn't doing much before the big shot. Potter Hari fans happy so far. You see Potter really working the body, trying to go upstairs, over and really coming in. That was a nice low kick timing from Potter, but on that inside, boom, boom, nice slide up uppercut, nice close range. Hard to see the, but you can see left hook, and then just boom, pops up right on the chin. Watch the gloves. Down, one glove touched. Yeah, it could be a, a flash. Three minutes to go. So here we go. The official final round. The official final round of the final round. One judge gave it to Overeem. Botter's combinations, his level changing. That step in jab, Blake, almost a run in jab from Alistair. Step back, step back. 
So looking at the scorecards, if Badahari avoids disaster here in the third, he's going to win. But rarely has he avoided disaster over the past few years, Joe. Yeah, especially if his emotions get in. And he's that natural fighter who just wants to keep fighting and coming back. Oh, big hit. It looks like a jab. I don't know if you'd call it that because Alistair sticks his arm out and runs right into the batter's face. Yeah, it's a little bit more unorthodox style of jabbing, trying to cut off line. Digging the body was Botter with the left. Over and tried the, lap, the low calf kick there. That's what I feel Over needs to do on the inside, just keep throwing his hooks and uppercuts. Easier said than done. Oh, right hand from Alistair. Two of them. And then a knee. Big right again from the ream. Potter's in trouble. Potter's out. The count two. should be a five. five. Why is he a two? Why three. is the referee a three? Four. He should be an eight. Five. Hey, do Six. Seven. Eight. I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Five. Can Alistair Overeem finish? Can he put the final nail in Butter's coffin like he promised to do? He's got him on the ropes. A minute to go here in the Netherlands. It's Legend. Oh, that right hand. Legend versus Legend, and he's down again. Incredible! He's up! He's got 40 seconds to survive. Let's see what the demolition man can do. Bonner wincing in pain. He's fighting back. Big right hand for Bonner. Get Bonner! He's still swinging. He's going to go out on his shield if he has to. Incredible endurance here for both of these fighters. Potter back on his feet after two knockdowns. Ten seconds to go. Does this put it to an extra round is what I'm thinking now with two knockdowns. Alistair steps out of the fray. And that will do it. Let's go to the judges' scorecards. I don't know those two knockdowns may not be enough to win it. We could have an extra round. With the two knockdowns, Botter being up two rounds. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if they're keeping them fresh in the corners. But what a third round for Alistair Overeem, Joe. He he looked like he wasn't just going to be able to figure Bonner out. Yeah, I mean, he was having trouble those first two rounds closing the distance, but once he did and started throwing those punches, he got those two knockdowns. Now let's go into our highlights from this heavyweight showdown. A lot of good unorthodox striking here from Over and trying to come in with his stance switch and getting his head inside with the high guard. Bonner doing well in these first two rounds, catching him coming in, ripping the body. Mixing things up well. But Overeem always sitting on the inside, trying to throw his big power punches. You can see the heavy exchange between the two biggest heavy power punches. Back and forth, non-stop. And in the third round, bought her up two rounds. And you can see here Overeem with that uppercut, which hurt him. And they kept coming forward, finding those angles. That left hook put Botter down. And then he continued to bring that pressure. Botter trying to survive. Overhand rights. The second knockdown. Here are the final statistics. 48 of 87 for Botter Hari with the punches. Total 52 of 84 for Overeem. Botter won the first two rounds. No question about that, but the third certainly belonged to the Ream. Tim Hughes has the scores. Let's hear them now. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals from our five ringside judges. One judge scores the bout 29-26.
The four remaining judges all have it. 28-27, all for your winner by unanimous decision. Alistair Overay! Alistair, congratulations on your victory here tonight. After two rounds, you were behind. You know you needed something dramatic. How did you get those two knockdowns? Keep the pressure on him. I just get my shots. You know, I'm uh, very destructive when I get in my flow. And guys, I am the new glory champion because where's Rico? I am the new champion, guys. Rico is not here. I'm not defending his belt, so I am the glory champion. Take us through that first knockdown when you landed that huge shot and put Botter down. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at the replay because it was a little bit back and forth. But, you know, you clip somebody, they slow down, I was looking for that. And then a couple more. Did you, did you feel any ring rust in the kickboxing ring? That first round, it seemed like you were trying to find your flow. Well, let's not forget, Butter's a high-level fighter. He's have a rough patch, but he's, you know, he's talented. Yeah. He's got all the experience. And for me, you know, it's been a little ring rust. Last fight was a year and a half ago. But uh, we're happy, we're good. We're proud to be back in the Netherlands, baby. Let's go.